was popping, 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 was popping. It's Yashua. What's up, beautiful people? How are y'all tonight? Listen, I want to talk about the fact that are you are you somebody who's like kind of struggling with what you want to do in life? You're just like everybody else. Sorry, I dropped the ball really quickly there. And <laughs> just let you know what it is. Oh, friend. You're not any different from anybody else, any different from me than I, you know, than I was. Like, I say was because, yeah, I found, like, a career path or whatever, but it wasn't a career choice that got me to that path. I want you all to know that, like, when you feel cluttered or, like, lost or just you don't know what to do about something, it's just for a period of time in your life. None of this stuff lasts forever, you know? Good, bad, or indifferent, like, none of it lasts forever. And so the thing that you need to be aware of is that eventually your situation is going to change. The depression goes away. The anxiety goes away. The bad situations goes away. The bad relationships go away. The, you know, the medical condition, whatever it is, it goes away. With enough nurture and care and change in scenario, meaning in environment, and habits and all that stuff with enough change these things change with no change they don't change but i'm not i'm gonna speak to you as if i'm speaking to people who want change who want to bring about change and are willing to do something about it to bring the change about in their life because that's all it's gonna take for you and for me it was poker i don't know if y'all notice if you're if you're new to the channel, you might not notice. If you've been here a while, you probably do. But I play professional poker. And I'm in Vegas right now to play at the World Series. Not at all a brag. I'm just telling you what's going on in my world and how I'm I'm in the motion of my dreams still, even though I've been living the life of a professional poker player for the last, like, six and a half years or whatever. Like, I'm in the motion of my dreams Here's an important part about being in the motion of your dreams. It starts by just starting. That's the biggest thing for anybody. The best advice that my sister ever gave me, one of my older sisters, was to just start. And at first, it was, you know, profound to hear that, you know, like, just start. Yeah, you're right. Just start. Just do something. Get started some kind of way, and you're on your way. And for me, it was just about diving in. I couldn't put my toe in the water and test it out. It was just dive in because I got fired from my job. And I didn't have a choice. I, I, I was um, living with my dad at the time and his wife. And, you know, she kind of wanted to kick me out anyway because I, because, well, at the time, I was struggling to find a job and, like, I wanted to do YouTube, so I'm making YouTube videos for y'all. And, you know, she doesn't really see the value in that or whatever. She doesn't know that ASMR is full of a community of people and that ASMR is something that actually helps people a lot, scientifically proven to help people, and you know, in, in, in different neurochemistry ways and all kind of ways. So I didn't put too much stock in the fact that she didn't like it, but I also had to consider that you have to contribute in some kind of way to your, your household. And I was just not as much as I should have been or not as much as she would have liked me to have been or I would have liked to have been. I just didn't know what to do, and I didn't have a job. And then, you know, I finally get a job. Why is all this important? Just so you know, is because a lot of y'all are in the same situation one way or another. It might not be that you're living with your parents, but maybe you are. Um, it might not be same situation as I had, but whatever you are trying to get over in this scenario is your own personal journey. And trust me, everybody's got them. Everybody goes through them. Pro professional poker, I don't know if you can conceptualize, like, it's not really something that most people would be the most supportive of because they think it's like you're just gambling. And if you're hearing this, you're not a professional poker player, probably. You don't, you don't know that gambling is way more skill-based, or not gambling, but poker is way more skill-based than gambling. Gambling is just you putting money against the house. It's just, you know, you rolling the dice, you know, 
poker is you play with other people in their minds. And so I like mind things like that. And that's why I kind of gravitated towards it. I'm going to ask you something that an old man asked me a long time ago. And it changed my whole life when I was able to answer it. When you were able to answer it, it'll change your life too. The question it was, what is something that you could do every day for the rest of your life, never get paid for it, and still be happy? What is that thing for you? I'm going to give you a second. If no one's ever asked you that, you might need a second to think about it. So I'm going to give you a second. Thinking. Sing to the top of the lungs of the heart What makes my heart start? <laughs> what is it? What is it for you? You, 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 you What is it for you? Because if it's not the same thing as for me, it's probably not That's okay That's very okay Because this is you And it's what you want It's what you desire and I'm going to tell you something else now that I did hear from people, but not as many people as I should have heard it from, and probably not from the people that I should have heard it from. You can fucking do it. You can fucking do it. You can do anything that you want to do. It doesn't matter what it is. You can do it. And the only thing that will stop you from doing it is you believing that you can't. That's it. There is no other obstacles. There are no other barriers except for you and your mind. And if you beat your mind, you beat the game. Okay? And I'm letting you know it is a game right now. You're, you're, you're playing a game in a system that was created for you and for millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of other people. The way to not play the game or the way to beat the game is to not play it. Now, don't get me wrong. You got to make money from some kind of way in our society. We don't live in a barter exchange, you know, nation or whatever. Um, and not even this, just this nation, not just mean nations in general aren't on barter anymore. They're on some sort of currency exchange. So you have to make money from some kind of way with the status quo as is, okay? Fine. But that doesn't mean that you can't give energy to whatever that answer was to that question, to whatever it is. And, and, and don't think small or big. It's not about you comparing to a standard. It's whatever it is for you that could make you happy to do daily. That's, that's the answer that we're talking about. That's what I want to hear from you. It's what you want. I don't care if you want to paint you know, create murals with crayons on the side of buildings every day for the rest of your life. And that would genuinely make you happy, even if you never got paid. Now we need to talk, because this is, this is where it gets interesting. Now we need to talk about how we can make money from the thing that you're most interested in doing, from the thing that brings you joy. Whether you realize it or not, that's the one of the things you're most likely to be successful at. Because you love it, and therefore you probably won't give up on it as easy as something you don't love. And that's literally the differentiator between successful and not most of the time. It's just consistency. It's just learning more about your craft and beating on your craft day after day, over and over and over and over and over. For me, it was learning poker. You could ask my friend. I stayed with my friend for a year. Not for a year, but for some time. And I would just shuffle chips and sh study poker videos and play poker online all day. I had a job or whatever. I'd do the job. I'd come home. I would do that. And I stacked my money and studied for a year, a whole year, to be able to do what I'm doing. And at the end of the year, I had enough that I was gonna make a real go of it, and I did, and I've never looked back since. Despite all of the negative things that I would hear from people, even people in my family, despite all of that, 
you can overcome everything that comes against you, whether it's intentionally or unintentionally. I don't think my family intended to like beat me down or anything, but they would always tell me how unrealistic it is to be a professional poker player. They would always tell me how I'd lose all my money and how blah, 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 blah. And, you know, and then I would just be all messed up and all of that stuff. And for me, it became real simple. First, when I when I really narrowed down like that, that that's what I wanted to do. And I decided that that is what I was going to do. And then also when it was just about fuck it. When it was like, if I take all of this money that I've stacked up, risk it all on my dream, blow it, lose it all, lose every single cent of it, I can still go back to working this nine to five job and stack the money up again, do something else with it if I want to. You still have that option no matter what. It doesn't matter how old you are, really. You can do whatever you want to do. And and if you just believe that, then there's nothing that's going to stop you. You can't be stopped by even a setback. If I had lost all my money, that would have been a setback. Not the end-all, be-all, not the end-all, tell-all, just a setback. Something that I need to bounce back from. I would have went back to a job. Well, I wouldn't have went back to a job. I, I was mowing lawns. I started a lawn care business for a while. I would have went back to mowing lawns, and I would have stacked the money back up and did it all over again. And I would have been studying every day after work the same way I was, hurt back from pushing along and weed whacking and all that stuff all day. I still study because it's my dream and it's because of what I want. And you can have what you want, too. It doesn't matter what anybody says to you. They're going to say things that discourage you. They're going to say things that are, well, not that it won't discourage you. I'm not going to speak that over you, but that are intended to discourage you. You got to have conviction. Someone has to be willing to fight for your dream. If it's not going to be you, then it won't be anybody. Your dream dies like a child. You know, it, it, it's like a child and there's grown, grown-ups running at it full force with bats and chains and they're about to attack this child. And if nobody helps this child, this child is done for. And that's just the way it is. Someone has to be strong enough to stand up for the child. This is your baby. This is something that is inside of you that is growing or not, but it is in you and it needs to be nurtured or it just dies with regret. And I don't want that for you. That's not for you. That regret is not for you. You have a you can do anything in the world, even if you don't even know what you want to do. A lot of people don't even know what they want to do, and that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Um don't get me wrong, I just found a passion that I really, 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 really enjoy. I, you know, I really, really enjoy playing poker. And I could do it every day, laugh all day long, have a great time out thinking other people and be all over the moon, you know? And that's why I could endure the losses that I have endured over time. In, in fact, let me tell you this. On this trip, I've lost like $1,500 in the tournament already. But, but I, you know... It's okay because I'm going to get it back. I've gotten it back in cash games already, but it, it, it it's okay because you're going to get it back as long as you are dedicated, as long as you're not going to cry. Even if you do cry, cry. Let the tears out and get the fuck back to work. Figure out whatever it is you want to do and keep working on that thing. because it, and And simply... Because you want to make yourself happy. I guarantee you, if you tell me something you're passionate about, I can figure out a way to make it make money for you. And not because I'm some financial guru, but because that's just the way it works. It's just it's just logic. If you're that guy or that girl who wants to draw on the side of the buildings with crayons, I don't know how feasible that is, but you know, I, if that's what you want to do, then you do that. You do that, you record it, you build stories around it, you get people interested in it. That's enough to market. That's enough to sell an idea. It's enough to 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 get somebody behind you. You can start a movement with your with your art. 
anything. You know what I mean? You can get other people to, to, um, you know, you can create a hashtag and then on your art, you use your hashtag and it's, it's like in support of something that you care about. It could be anything in the world, you know what I mean? And then you get other people to use the hashtag with their art. And next thing you know, you got some kind of love traveling around that circles back to you in great ways and in great amounts. It doesn't matter what it is, you know. You could like karate. <laughs> you could like makeup. You know, you could like cooking. Whatever you want to do, you can do it as long as you are not beating yourself down and telling yourself that you can't, rather verbally or internally. We don't went that we don't we strengthen ourselves here that's what we do that's why you come here to this channel to get your recharge because they're going to beat you down out there maybe you need to be good people who are going to build you up it's going to be people around you it's going to be me online it's going to be you know anybody who you designate who's worthy of your time and energy and if they're not building you up they're simply not worth that time and energy sorry hate to say it they gotta go, they gotta go, they gotta go, they gotta go, they gotta get a body here, they gotta get a body here. They're disruptive to the dream, they're disruptive to the goals. They're bad words for no one. And it's not just about a bag for real, it's about happiness. That's truly what this whole message is about, it's about being happy. Your career ain't shit to your happiness, it's secondary to your happiness. You just need to eat, that's why people say you need a job, you need to keep putting food in your, and water in your body and you want somewhere safe to sleep. That's what having a job is about. You can do that too in any other way. And as soon as you start making money in any other way, for me, it was mowing lawns. It was literally getting fired from my job the same day, going out and pushing a lawnmower and mowing lawns and making more money in one day than I made, you know, in in five days, four days, whatever, working at that restaurant that I was working at. And so I learned that day that you can make money doing anything in the world. And as long as you believe that, then you can turn your passion into dollars. You can, you can, you can, you can. And if you if you if you don't believe it, tell me why you don't believe it. Put it in the comments and let's talk about it. That's what this is for. This is about more than just me hopping on here and talking and just so you can hear me. I want to know what you think. And I want it to get through to you that you can change your life. You can change your world. You can do. I, I have a friend who twirls batons. She loves to do it. She don't know how to make money on it, but she can. We talked about she was going to create a class, you know, for people who wanted to get their kids involved in baton twirling. She never executed on it, but she could. Then she could film those classes. She can redirect it. She can talk about it. She can do tutorials. She can do all kind of stuff and then make money. She had somebody offer her money to twirl their glow-in-the-dark baton. You know, like, just stuff like that. You can, as long as you believe it enough to actually do something about it and keep doing something about it, it can work for you. I'm living proof it can work for you. It can work for you, despite what anybody says. I believe in you. I believe you can do great, tremendous, spectacular things. I apologize if that was loud. Spectacular things in this world and no one can stop you, except for you. And that's if you allow yourself to. A little discipline will stop that. I'll be honest with you, I've been on the discipline side checking myself and getting better with it because I'll be disciplined in spouts, you know what I mean, to be honest with you. So I've been getting my discipline down together too and even the discipline in filming these videos to feed y'all, you know, to, to help my people and to give back, you know, in some kind of way and like just keep contributing the energy and receiving the energy because don't get me wrong, I love it when y'all give me those vibes. I love it so much. I need it. I need it. I love the energy. Y'all love the energy I provide so it works out. And if you enjoy this, please, please just consider 
that you can do anything you want to. You can do anything you want. Anything. I'm out I'm out here in Vegas and that's just because this is what I wanna do. I play poker because I love poker. And I haven't gotten that big, huge score yet. But see, that's something that I'm working towards right now too. That's what I'm here for. I get the big score, life changes. And it's, be, and it's because I've kept faith for so long. I've been playing for six and a half years. I still haven't had a big score. I make enough money to do what I you know, want to do. But I haven't had a huge score yet. When I do, it's going to be crazy. And it's going to be a manifestation from the most high, from like my dedication and from, you know what I mean, just putting in time and faith. <laughs> And learning more and more. If you do that, you put in time, you put in faith, and you put in, you know, and you you learn, you keep absorbing and consuming whatever it is that your topic, your niche is. You associate with people who are involved in that niche, and especially if they're good in that niche too, you're going to fucking skyrocket. Your progress is going to skyrocket so fast. You're capable of indistinguishable, unidentifiable uncommentable things undescribable things you can do it all I'm telling you there's nothing to stop you I just wanted you to know that I believe in you so much and I would really like it if you commented and told me about some of your ideas some of your passions some of your dreams what was your answer to that question that I asked what is something that you could do every day for the rest of your life Never get paid for it and still be happy. I would love to know what that thing is for you. Like, I'm dying to know, actually. Please tell me what it is. And let's talk about it in the comments. And subscribe for more content because I've got more. <laughs> but no, really, because I want to grow with you. Because I want us to grow together. And I'm, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't take y'all not living y'all dreams no more. I can't take y'all just being out here docile and like letting life get you down or whatever. You are full of greatness. You're fucking awesome. You are a child of light. You just got all that light. Look at you glowing right now. I can't even help you. Can't get. Please get off of my camera.